All right, welcome back to Photoshop. And today we're gonna to take a quick look at the export as and the save as legacy options inside of Photoshop. And remember, these are quick tutorials. I'm not gonna be going into depth on these. I'm just gonna show you how to use them and leave it at that because that's what some people have asked for. So the export and the save as legacy functions are not your best options for saving high quality images. In that case, you should be using a different method and I will send you a link to a video that shows you those methods. This is for just quickly exporting images to either email to somebody, text somebody, or maybe, or post onto a web page, but not super high quality. This is a massive file, it's 30 inches at 300 pixels per inch. So we're gonna wanna size this down. Now, the cool thing about the export and the save as legacy is they let you do a variety of options in one window, which you can't do unless you make an action in Photoshop. And I will tell you that I prefer saving actions over export as and save as legacy. I do not use them because I use custom actions that do the same thing but produce a higher quality image. So let's go up here to file and we're gonna slip down to export, which is right here. And we've got quick export as a JPEG. So you'll just click on this and it'll automatically export as to however you have the preferences set. You have an export as and a save as web legacy. So we're gonna start with the preferences first cause that makes sense to set those up. So we have the option here to use a JPEG, a PNG or a GIF. And in this case, it makes the most sense to use the JPEG. This is the killer right here. You can only do a quality of seven. So you can't go to 10 or 12. You're gonna have a lower quality, more compressed image. That's something to note. Quick export location. So this was the quick export as JPEG. Where do you want it to go? So you have the ask where each time you do it or export files to an assets folder, meaning you could click on this here, pick your own folder, and then they're gonna to go to a specific location. All right, we're just gonna do ask each time. Do you want to add copyright and contact info? I were really want all mine, but you don't get the options. You either got none or just that. Convert to sRGB, which is wonderful. That's something that we want. So if you're working in Adobe, it's automatically gonna convert to sRGB, which is what the web is working in. So your export as location, which is different than the quick export, and you're just gonna set either to an asset locations or to the last location specified. And then down here, we have an export legacy export as. We're not gonna cover that. Look, it's the old version of the export as and we're not gonna use that, we're gonna use the new one. So we're gonna go ahead and hit okay and that's gonna apply those settings. So my first option here would be go file, export, quick export as JPEG. It's just gonna do the stuff and then you can see we would hit save and we could save that file. It's that easy, but it's not the most high quality. So then we can come down here and go to export as, which is different. And when we get export as, we get this new window and it's gonna give us a preview. And over here, we've got some more controls. So we've got the formats that we could pick from just like before. We can only still go up to seven. We have our image size and our canvas size. So we could reduce the size manually here. Before we were just exporting the photo and it really wasn't doing anything as far as sizing. In this one, we can resize the image. So if I don't want this to be 9,000, I want it to be 1,500 pixels. So if I want this one to be 1,500 pixels, I can simply just tape, tap in 1,500 pixels. It's going to convert that and then size this image down for me. So canvas size, occasionally you might have like a black border or more information outside of the image. That's what canvas would add to. We're just gonna leave it alone because it's just the same size as the image. Do we wanna add that metadata and we wanna to convert to sRGB and embed that profile? Really the same information here is the quick export except for you're able to change your image size. Then you would hit export and boom, it would be doing the same thing. So we're gonna hit cancel. The last one here is we go to file, 
We're going to go down to export and then we're going to go to save for web legacy. So this is the old, this is the old save as web legacy version, which is slow. It was always been slow and it works much better than it did before. So you first set up some presets if you want to set up a preset. We have more options as far as picking what we want to save as. We're going to use JPEG over again. So we have different qualities. We have maximum, high, medium, and low, which is better. So we can go all the way up to 100% quality on JPEG, which before we could only do like 70%. We can choose how we want to save this. So progressive or optimized, I would pick optimized and you want to embed your color profile. If you don't have this button checked right here, it's not gonna convert to sRGB. It's gonna embed whatever color profile you have. We actually wanna embed the sRGB color profile, so we're going to select that. And you can see it's sort of slow. We have a monitor preview, and this is what it's talking about. It's always been slow about doing that. Then down here, we can change that image size just like we did before. So if we wanted to make this smaller, we could once again make the 1500 pixels. It's going to size our image and then we would just hit save and it's going to do all that. This is going to give us a better image than the export as is we have a little bit more control over it. One thing you'll notice is none of these options for some reason have sharpening. I don't know why they don't have that, but they don't. So you no might notice that your images are a little bit softer than normal, but you would hit save and then you would be done and that would export as legacy. Well, that's it for this tutorial on how to use the export and the save as legacy functions inside of Adobe Photoshop. If you found these videos helpful, it would be great if you could give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can always leave those below and don't forget to subscribe.